Hi! Spring is coming and we have a trip coming up. So I have been buying a few things, trying to get ready for both. And I thought I would just jump on real quick and show you a few new things that I found. First off, I didn't mention it in the uh, video about where we're going. Um, I said we were going on a trip soon. We are going to Tahiti. So we will be in one of those overwater bungalow things and we're just going to do a lot of relaxing. We will have some days where we're trying to like do some hiking and some snorkeling and some things like that. So, but a lot of it, we will just be hanging out on our bungalow and jumping out into the water and floating around and just enjoying life. So. I definitely have some that are more on the, you know, attractive -y side, but for some of these things where I'm walking on coral reefs and I have to wear shoes with my bathing attire and I don't really want to worry about things going places, I have found some comfortable things that I thought I'd grab to mix and match with other pieces that I have. And I tried these on. These are great. I ended up getting these from um, Land's End and what they are is they're um, board shorts. So they're just real small inseam, just real short, you know, little shorts with a liner underneath. Perfect to put with different uh, like tankini tops and so forth. They are covering me a little bit more than normal. They're not going to go up places that they shouldn't. And I feel like I can be much more comfortable. And I grabbed this also um, from a different company. Let's see if I can even show you this thing. Okay, this top. It's a tankini top with this high neck, which I really like. It has a slit right here but it doesn't open hardly at all you can barely tell there's a slit there so i really like that the back has this crisscross deal going on here and it just fits beautifully it's comfortable and i won't have to worry about um you know things going places and tugging and pulling on things that would look super cute with the board shorts too so I needed to grab a pair of water shoes and we will be at different places where we're kind of hiking around and then we're in the water and hiking back to the car, whatever. So I found these and I think they're great. They remind me so much of my Nike tennis shoes that I love, totally, totally love wearing them as we speak. Um, but these are water shoes and they drain, they're just like drain holes and they're comfortable and there's a cushion in there. Um, gosh, they just slip right on. Perfect, right? So I grabbed these and I'm excited. The sunnies that I have been wearing literally almost non-stop stop for the past, gosh, I want to say two, three years have been my Michael Kors Chelsea sunglasses. I've had more questions about those sunnies than anything I think ever. And they're getting harder and harder to find now. So I do have a link where I'm still able to find them. And anyone who asks me, I always put that link there for them so they can find them too. Otherwise it takes hours of searching. So I will link that below in case they're still available. But I wanted to get a pair of sunnies that were very, very similar of a brand that I figured would, you know, it's a classic style. So I figured this brand would have them forever and ever. And these are Ray-Bans and I will show you what they're like. They're very much like my Michael Kors Chelsea's and very similar price point to be honest too. So that's nice. They're just a, it comes in this little case. They are an aviator. And what I really liked about the Michael Kors Chelsea ones is that they have the like black and black. And these are the gunmetal ones. Um, so they're just an, uh, your classic aviator. That's it. Nothing exciting about them really. Just They just do perfectly what they're supposed to do. I really like the, the simplicity of them. So I thought I'd grab a pair of these. That way they would be an extra for when my other ones are no longer available. So yeah, I think these are going to work out really well because they're so, so similar. Okay, I got another pair of like board short kind of um, swim bottoms. They're just a, a short three inch inseam, I'm guessing. Very, very simple, can go with any of my tankini tops and will be very nice to have on the trip. And I also got this top. I thought this was really cute. I like the fact that it's high neck again. Something about high neck when you're swimming and snorkeling and you're trying to be active and you're wearing shoes for Pete's sake, so you're not trying to be like, you know, a beach bunny. You just <laughs> want something cute. I thought this was a cute pattern and for Tahiti, it just seemed perfect. So with those other board shorts, I think they'll be great and I'll feel covered and I will all feel comfortable. So I'm excited about that. Here you go. In my recent spring essentials, like items for spring that will just be perfect, I believe, I showed these shoes. They are by Vionic, love this brand, and I have a pair of the kind of tan colored um, perforated, they're like a taupey colored uh, perforated ones, which I really love. 
but I wanted a pair of black and these are not perforated. These are so comfortable. They have built-in arch support lightly. They're cushioned. I cannot tell you how comfortable these things are. I love them. So I thought black and white, cute. I wear so much black and white in the summer. White pants, white shorts, little white skirt even. Um, love it. I just think this would be so, so cute with just about anything. I'm happy to have them in black now too. This is something I thought I would try. Um, the Chanel concealer. I did recently get this in the mail. I'm wearing it today and I'm really liking it. This is the first time I've tried it today. So it is the uh, Longwear Concealer and I got it in 20 beige. And it seems to be the perfect color. It's got great um, coverage, very light coverage, but nice. I mean, it's just, it feels so light, yet it covers a lot of the darkness. So I'm really happy with it. So I'll be playing with this a little bit more and I will definitely let you know if it stays being as good as I think it will be. Okay, the first item, none of these things will be easy to show. Okay, it's a dress. It's a plain black dress. I always like to get a, a black dress that can be dressed up or down um, for each season to make sure I have something available for anything I need. It's got a short sleeve to it and has a kind of a tulip hemmed bottom. Can you see that? The wrap type of, see the neck? There you go, that's a better look. And a very silky knit kind of a material. I think this will be perfect. I'm really excited to have that. I love that type of a dress. Simple, you can do so much with it. Then I grabbed this top. It's kind of almost a light sweatshirt kind of a material, total cotton. It is long sleeved, how perfect to throw on over whatever when it's chilly in the evening. Um, we're outside all the time with the fire pit and whatnot. And I always like to have a white sweater, like a lightweight, light kind of white sweater top to put over whatever I'm wearing, shorts, skirt, whatever. And this has a little bit of a, kind of a lacy type of a cotton embroidered detail on it. And it's plain on the back. So yeah, I think that's very, very cute. I'm sure I will like that. It'll, I got it all so it could be big and comfy and put over, put over anything. If you know me, you know that I'm all about white on the bottom all spring and summer. And I thought this would be so, so cute. It's just a very silky shell, kind of a tank type of thing, but look at the bottom. How oh, cute. So with white pants, little white jeans, like little ankle jeans or something, and a cute pair of black sandals or heels or whatever. So adorable. And then again, perfect for spring, stripes. Just a regular crew neck stripe sweater. Very lightweight, can throw on with jeans and my little black flat shoes I showed you. Perfect, cannot go wrong. That's any weekend, any day kind of an outfit. This one I'm not sure about what it'll look like on my bottom because it's stripes and I don't know about that, but it's a striped knit skirt. It's like a pencil skirt and it just, it's just, it's just pull on. It's got the, it's like elasticy waist. I can totally see that with, you know, like a white, top or a black top, jean jacket, little even tennis shoes, whatever. A cute, I mean, seriously, a knit pull on like pencil skirt. So cute. I'm really liking this. I hope it looks okay on me and I'm comfortable enough, you know, wearing it with the stripes going around. As you know, the, the Ulta sale, the 21 days of beauty sale is going on. I did pick up the Cali Contour. Uh, it looks like I'm going to really like it. I haven't tried it yet but I did receive it, so I'm very happy about this. I think it'll be wonderful. It looks to be kind of great color-wise too, so I'm excited about this. In the summertime, I am totally a sucker for anything that smells like the beach or like lotion or suntan lotion or any of those type of things like coconutty or any of those. And I saw that this was happening. It's by Urban Decay and it's the Go Naked Perfumed Oil. This was really hard to find when it first came out. I think it's a little easier now. I'm not sure, I'll have to see. Um, but it is a perfumed oil that smells like your best summer. It's a rollerball. It's like every summer memory you've ever had rolled into one. I mean, there's definitely a, a suntan lotion, it's flowers. Oh my gosh, it's just summer. This is like summer in an oil and it smells good and it lasts quite a while too because it's an oil. Yeah. If you want summer in a roll-on bottle, that one will be your friend. Two more things. I have two new pairs of shoes that um, I want to show you and little mini stories to go with. I have been looking for a shoe 
like this for a while. And I didn't want too high of a heel, and I really wish they weren't even as high as this, but these are very um, doable. These are by Naturalizer. Let me take this off. So I've been wanting this style of shoe, and I debated and debated whether, you know, what to do about the heel. I didn't know if I wanted like a kind of a block heel or if I wanted more of a, of a dressier heel. So I, <laughs> I ended up deciding on these, which I think they are beautiful. They are by Naturalizer. And this part fits my foot so well. I tend to be platypus footed, <laughs> where the, you know, that this part of my foot across my knuckles is wider and I have a narrow heel. So these seem to really work with that in case that is your thing. Um, if you don't, I think they will still work beautifully, but I thought they were very, very pretty. They do have kind of a suede look to them. They do have a bit of a sparkle, but very, very light. This blends in with my skin tone, so it just kind of looks like a, a nice bare foot in a way. <laughs> And I really like that. So that's kind of the look I was going for. So I'm excited about this and they do seem to fit true to size. And then, okay, confession time. I have had my eye on these shoes. I've obsessed over them. I ordered them, received them, sent them back, love them, but that, when am I ever gonna wear them? And it's blah, blah, blah. Couldn't get them out of my head. A year later, still, still wanted them. So we'll see, but here they are, and I love them, I just really do. They're Valentinos, I just love them. This is how they come, so beautiful. I mean, the presentation is gorgeous, as it should be. You know me in beige type shoes. I just think they are stunning. I have the flat ones in that PVC material. Um, love those, absolutely love them. And this is basically the same type of thing, but in a heel, I like that it's a more of a chunky heel, very comfortable, slide on, slip on, perfect. Um, it just adds a little bit of sparkle with those studs. I just, I don't know, I love them and I love this color. This is the Poudre powder color, love them. So yeah, I think these are mine now. Um, I tried them before, loved them, but thought, where, where, when will I wear them? I will, I will invent places to wear these because I just love them that much and could not get them out of my mind. I was obsessed. So now I have these and I'm very, very excited. So there you have it. Those are some things that I have been gathering for the last few, several, quite a few weeks. And, um, for various different reasons. So I have that trip coming up that I'm excited about. I did buy a new piece of luggage too. Um, I'm going to show that in my packing videos because I have a lot of that type thing coming up. Um, very excited about getting to know that new bag and how everything packs into that and how that works for the trip. So I will be bringing you along on that journey too. Thank you so, so much for joining me. I always appreciate it and I hope you have a fantastic day. Thanks so much, bye.